Welcome. This video is the seventh in a series intended to familiarize you with Sedona X Mobile. There is a lot more information in the other videos, so make sure you watch those. In this video, we'll be talking about setting up Sedona Cloud users for Sedona X Mobile, and then we'll be talking about setting up Alarm Biller users for Sedona X Mobile. Let's get started. Sedona Cloud users will need to log in and select Users at the top of the screen. Then click on Company Users and select the user that you'd like to edit from the list. Next you can flip the switch for Enable Sedona X Mobile. Next we can choose which employee this login will be associated with by selecting from the list. The settings shown here are defaulted, but if you need to you can edit these as necessary. Next, you'll need to decide if this user is a company admin or is a member of a role group. Selecting role group, we will be able to select from a predefined list of roles such as subcontractor, junior tech, senior tech, project manager, or manager. Once you select the appropriate role, you'll be able to see below where you selected the role which permissions apply to that role but you will need to select a role of custom if you'd like to change individual permissions. In this example though, we'll stick with senior tech. Then we can click the submit icon on the top and we're done. Now on to alarm biller. Alarm biller users will want to log in, then select setup near the top of the screen. Then from the setup menu, we can select users here. When the list of users is displayed, We'll then want to select which user we'd like to edit. Then we can select the box that says Sedona X Mobile App. From here, we just need to click Save to save that user. One important note for both Sedona Cloud and for Alarm Biller, using Sedona X Mobile is licensed, so if you are not licensed for Sedona X Mobile, you'll receive an error message. Thanks for watching.